All right, kids, don't try this at home. Well, that sucks. My RJ45 connection is destroyed. My warranty is voided now, so I'm stuck with this camera. But the good news is there is a simple fix. So let's head inside and I will show you what to do when you have a damaged RJ45 connection on your security camera. All right, let's fix an RJ45 connection on a security camera. Now keep in mind that depending on the amount and the type of damage to your connector, this fix may or may not work. For instance, if you just didn't properly weatherproof your connections and some water got in there, there's a chance that it already fried your camera. But if the damage is contained right here to this connector, here's a quick surgical fix that just might save your camera's life. Fair warning, this could get messy. All right, here's what you need. A camera with a damaged RJ45 connection, an RJ45 pass-through connector, an RJ45 cable crimper, an ethernet coupler, a cup of coffee. First step, we gotta amputate. Take your crimping tool and cut off the damaged connector. Go ahead and strip the cable jacket back just a bit, and you may find some insulation in there. You can just pull that back to reveal the colored wires inside, and cut it off if you need to so it won't be in the way. Now here's where it gets a little tricky, depending on which camera you have. The camera I have here is an R-series camera, and here we only have eight wires total. Orange, stripe, and orange. Green, stripe, and green. But then we have red stripe and red, and black stripe and black. If you're using power over ethernet, you can go ahead and cut off that red and black power wire because you won't need those. But now we are left with six wires instead of the standard eight. If you saw our last video about power over ethernet, you will remember that we only use two pairs of wire for data and two pairs of wire for power. In this case, we will still use two pairs for data. Orange stripe and orange, and green stripe and green. But we will only use two individual wires for power, the red stripe for positive, and the black stripe for negative. The tricky part is, since RJ45 connectors have eight wires set in eight pins, we're going to need to skip some of these pins. If you look closely at your RJ45 connector, you will see eight rivets that let you guide the wires into place. In order to properly wire our camera, we need to skip some of those rivets. Here's the order that we need. Orange stripe, orange, and green stripe. These are our first three data wires. Then we will skip the next rivet. This typically holds the solid blue wire, which is usually the first of the energized pairs. In the next rivet, you will place the first power wire, which is our red stripe. This is going in the place of the blue stripe. After the red stripe, you will place the solid green wire, which is our last data wire, after which you will place the black stripe in the place of the brown stripe. The last rivet, where the solid brown wire usually goes, we will leave empty. It may take a bit of practice getting these wires in just the right place, but I promise you, if I can do it, you can do it too. Once you have those wires in the right spot, crimp that connector into place. If you've never crimped an ethernet connection before, it's actually pretty easy. We have other videos on our YouTube channel that will help you with this in more detail, and I will leave those links in the description. And there you go. You now essentially have an ethernet cable coming out of your security camera. So go ahead and take your coupler, stick it in there, and you now have your very own makeshift RJ45 connector for your camera. Let's go ahead and test this out. All right, I'm connecting this camera to our network now. Let's check to see if we have power. I will go ahead and turn off the lights. And there we go, the IR lights turned on, so this camera is definitely getting power. Now let's make sure that we have network connectivity. And there it is showing up on our network. We have successfully resurrected our camera. Now if your camera isn't showing up on the network or isn't getting enough power, just make sure that you placed your wires in the right order. If your wires are in the correct order, then that damage may not have been contained to the connection and your camera may be done for. Now to weatherproof your camera, you'll just want to pick up some weatherproof tape and just go to town on that thing. 
It's not gonna look super pretty, but it is better than just throwing away your camera. Again, I just want to reiterate that depending on the damage done to your camera, this may or may not work for you. But since a damaged RJ45 connector voids your warranty, this is always a great hack to try out before you just give up on your camera. If you have any additional life-saving tips for fixing your damaged security cameras, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. We're always willing to learn something new and it might help someone else out who's watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, we have unique content just like this released every single week. So go ahead and follow us across social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.